All right, we're back. We're back in Metalla. Three years later, we are back right here, the hippie beach of Crete in Metalla. Not much has changed besides that. Well, we're a little older. The kids are a little bigger. We maybe have a few more thousand subscribers on the channel, but not much has changed besides that. We are back right here, Metalla Beach with the Metalla Caves. This is awesome. a little earlier than last time last time we came here I think we got here a little late we had to fight for our seats so we just picked out a chair and you can see here that it says disinfected so uh, you know just in case you're wondering or in case you're worried and you're coming here during the you know the COVID-19 uh, you know pandemic uh, they are disinfecting the chairs right here on Metalla Beach and this beach right here is quite popular it can get quite packed of course because you have the caves and it's actually decently long beach but of course the the view here at Matala is one of the most spectacular views of any beach that you will ever ever see so uh, this is why it gets quite packed right here My lens just got all wet. And what big wave that was in. <laughs> Matala actually has a very, very old history. So uh, the caves that you see behind me, they're actually artificial and supposedly they were created during the Neolithic age, uh, which is something like 12,000 BC until like 4,500 BC. So they were created at some point during that time frame. So also, uh, you know, after that, during the Minoan period, the city of Matala, or the this area actually, of Matala was used as a port for the city of Phaistos, which of course was the second biggest or most important uh, city during the Minoan uh, time here on the island of Crete. Now, Phaistos lost the battle to another city, Gortus, in the area, and uh, so uh, the port of Metalla became a port for Gortus, which actually also extended during the Roman times, uh, because of course the Roman, they came here, and one of the caves here actually is named after the, the Roman general Brutus. Now, I don't know which cave it is. I tried looking it up, I can't find the information, but supposedly one of the caves here is named after the Roman general Brutus. Now, it has also been suggested that some some of these caves were used as tombs, so people were being buried here. Uh, it seems like not everyone agrees on that information. The most likely uh, scenario is that these caves were actually used as living quarters, which of course, uh, if we go back to the 60s and the 70s, the late 60s, uh, early 70s, a lot of hippies actually came here to Matala and they actually did use the caves as uh, living quarters. So uh, there you go. The caves are big enough to house the hippies. Of course, uh, you know, Jody Mitchell, was here uh, in Crete. She spent a lot of time here uh, in Metal, actually living here. She lived in one of those caves. And I will show you guys the caves in a bit. Of course, we have the previous video from three years ago, but I will show you a new 2020 rendition of the caves in Metal. Just so you see, just they're not that big and they're not that comfortable to live in. So, uh, you know, I don't know how Jody Mitchell and the other hippies did it uh, for as long as she did, but I will show you that in a second. Right 
off the beach here and you can see lots of people here now these caves they go up and up there's a lot and a lot of caves here here you can either go that side which is going to take you higher up or you can come this side which is the kind of like short side the close side by the beach and it's going to take you to some of these front caves right here so it really depends on the caves that you want to see if you want to see the ones above and you want to do some hiking you got to go that way you can also go this way but i think it's a little challenging you know you can see just uh, how steep it can be over here here off the entrance are awfully small so you almost have to like go on your all fours to get in if you're a grown-up so we're gonna walk a little bit to the side and see some of the bigger caves guys these caves they may be claustrophobic I don't know how people did it I don't know how people slept here because just being in here for just a few seconds or a few minutes makes me feel claustrophobic and I feel like I can barely breathe. Ah, <sighs> oh, I love this game right here. So you can see it's, it's nice and open so you can still kind of sleep here but of course if it rains you're gonna get bored on but who cares, at least you can breathe. So these are the front most caves here at McCullough, right here. And you can see that we are right next to the water, the beach. Now back once upon a time when there was no fence here, you could probably go, actually no, you can't go for a dive because there's rock. But you can walk over there and dive straight in the water. I've seen people do it just not today because of the waves. So here you go, you have the whole thing behind us. It's awesome to come here in these caves. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground Far from all worries and troubling sound When I go there to be by myself, only me No one can guess what I came there to see There's a sun in the sky There's a cloud Someone waving at me I hope that it's you But who else could it be? I guess it would be nice So what a typical day in Matala is going to look like is first you're going to want to go to the beach uh, get up there early, as early as you can because those seas they fill up very very quick go for a nice little dip once you're nice and you know you feel comfortable then you can go for a nice little walk and hike up to the caves up on the side of the Matala beach which are absolutely awesome now after you do all of that and you take in the breathtaking beauty you can come to the little village that is right next to the beach and you can just kind of do a little bit of shopping which is really cool here because you know Matala is it's a hippie town and so you're gonna have all these hippie you know shops and uh, you know one of my favorite things about Matala is this thing right here so you can even take in a little bit of philosophy or just some inspirational life quotes right here today is life tomorrow never comes I love that saying right here na, 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 na. So you have a whole bunch of restaurants here so you can see the beach is right behind me the caves are on the other side and on this side is where all the action is the bars the restaurants the cafes the shops everything like that is on this side now there's a bunch of restaurants that are higher up and we've been to this place about three years ago so this place is called Scala and <laughs> there's a few steps to get to it last time we were here we actually had a stroller we had to like pull it up and it was really really difficult this time the kids they can walk up so a little easier 
So first off, I got this thing. They call it split peas, but I think they mean split beans. And I believe these are like mashed up fava beans that you have here. You can see that they're loaded with these fresh onions at the top and they sprinkle this olive oil. You're gonna find this in many places here in Crete. Let's try it out. It's like the fava beans version of mashed potatoes. Those onions, they give it that nice crunch, a nice freshness. It's very, very beany. You definitely have to like beans to like this. I happen to like beans. Let's taste it. I already took a bite. Very soft. Here we cut. It's definitely good. And now we got the main course, the main star of the show, which is the sea bass, this grilled sea bass. You can see here that it comes with this beet, kind of like a mashed up beet, I guess I would say. And just the nice sea bass on a clean plate with this lemon. So it looks beautiful. You can see the sea bass is nice and long. It looks beautiful, looks perfectly cooked. Let's try it out. All right. Mm. It's a nice piece of fish. It's very, very well cooked. The inside, the white flesh is really, really nice and tender. The skin is uh, is nicely roasted. When you chew it, you always double check that there's no bones, all right? No bones. No bones? No bones. No bones. So there you go. The kids like the fish more what? than me. That is a bone, yes. Oh, what yes. You get? <laughs> also come to this bakery right here in the little village of Matala. They have all kinds of sweets here. It's amazing to be in there. They have these giant Greek bagels it looks like and they also have a slew of other goodies, baklava, as well as some bagels with chocolate uh, and all kinds of things. I love this place right here. You can eat here, they have a nice little place, or you can take your sweets to go just like we did. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Matala. I hope you guys come here if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Give the video a big thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next one.